The psychic versus the seer. The plight of this conversation when it comes to the psychic versus the seer is that when it comes to a psychic or a seer, we have a supernatural book, yet we're afraid to speak on supernatural things. I mean, let's keep it real. All a psychic really is is one that has a dark power to supernaturally connect to someone's soul, while the seer is one who God uses to speak divine mysteries and hidden revelation to your soul. So in order to understand the difference between a seer and a psychic, can you fearlessly join me in looking at this in the supernatural? See, a psychic is one that is known for telling people's future, past, and present. They give advice on decisions that people need to make. They guide people, they warn people, etc. Sure, they might have a full curriculum, they might have a workflow, but very few ask this right here. What is their source? As far as the power of a psychic, looking at pre-30 AD history, and even to this day, see there was a phenomenon when it came to these type of supernatural powers that people and humans begin to attribute this power to the gods, the rain god, the wealth god, the harvest god, etc. But by the time 30 AD came, something happened. Something got exposed. The apostles of Jesus and their communities began to expose something very specific. See, the whole time people were thinking there were gods giving people these supernatural abilities, and there were not gods. They were demons. Mass repentance would begin to take place across believers. People would begin to burn books and burn their magic and all these different things. See, the source of a psychic is an embodied spirit or a personality without a body. In other words, a demon. The world will call them gods and spirit gods, but God calls them demons. See, some of the root meaning of what a psychic is is one that can read the soul. Again, psychics may label some of these things as friendly, friendly spirits, spirit gods, etc. While a seer will call it a familiar spirit. Contrary to a psychic, a seer is one who is holy according to the Bible. In fact, 1 Samuel 9 and 9, Prophets used to formerly be called seers. Seers are those that get an abundance of visions and dreams throughout the Bible. Seers are those that are raised up by Jesus himself in the New Testament. And their goal is to mature and construct people to be strong and spiritually healthy in Christ. Many times by means of supernatural revelation that comes from God himself. See, no doubt, the seer and the psychic both live in a supernatural lifestyle. But they have two different sources in the supernatural. And because of the source difference, the motivation is different. A top function of a seer is to speak for God, and they get under the influence of God's spirit and share what God thinks and even how God feels. While a psychic's goal is to connect to someone's soul and to draw them to their so-called wisdom or their spirit God or some foreign God, or even just to connect to their own soul, just to know information. Two completely different motivations. One thing that can't be denied though, seers have a foundation of truth. They have a Bible, they can't twist it, they can't manipulate it, but they can only submit to it. While psychics may have a myriad of text, they might even throw in the Bible every now and then. And psychics can be a lot more polytheistic, meaning they believe in multiple gods. The truth is not all religions are the same. Let's get down to the truth. The Quran, for example, says that Jesus didn't die on the cross, while the Bible says that he did die on the cross. These belief systems are just fundamentally different across all these different belief systems. See, this not only shows how lost a psychic may be in their soul, but how much of a contradiction their morals are. They have no ground to stand on. See, if you want a truth that convicts, that sets you free, I'm talking every door in your soul completely clean, with a clear conscience, nothing to regret, turn to Jesus in his blood. He died for your sins. But if you want to continue being a spiritual prostitute and go from door to door, from demon to demon, follow the psychic. One will lead you to heaven, that's Jesus. The other one will lead you to hell, that's the psychic.